Hello Scorpio and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate you. Uh, we are going to tap into your weekly energy reading. So you can have Scorpio and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or North Node. Okay. Um, please make sure that you like the video. If you are watching the video, drop a comment below. And also uh, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Okay. Um, if you have Aquarius in a prominent placement in your chart, or if you are dealing with an Aquarius, I do have an Aquarius-only channel. Um, so I do the main readings for Aquarius here on Mondays, but I have an Aquarius-only channel where they get about five readings a week. You can go to the home page of my profile, the channels page, or the mm -hmm, or the uh, about me page to see the backup um, to, to see the Aquarius-only page. So you can subscribe to that as well. All right. So let's get into your weekly energy, Scorpio. Okay. That one flew. I'm so tired of this card. Oh, I'm tired of that card today. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. That card done came out so many times today. Okay, so. Okay, so let me tell you this. If you are somebody that has money, okay, there's somebody around you. Um, Lovers at the bottom of the deck. There's somebody around you that's not true or genuine to you. They want your money, okay? Um, someone here could be married, all right, and fantasizing about someone else. Um, you may not know this person is married, okay, or they may not know you're married. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. But it's a divine connection here, okay? So it's like someone has caught your eye and you don't know how to move around that. Message for the collective Scorpio. There's definitely a choice in the matter of, of this connection. A divine connection here. Maybe you're going to find out that someone is really married. Like someone has been playing games. It could be a Leo here. It could be a Capricorn, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, someone's definitely, you know, if, if you're not, like, married, married, it, it, it could be, like, common law married here. Like, this is something that's on your mind, heavy. Like, you may find this out this week. I feel like you may find this out and not even say anything to this person, Scorpio. You're just going to, like, remove your energy. You know, like, you're not even going to say, oh, man, I found out you married. It's like, you're not giving this person time to lie to you. It's like, you know, you want to play with a Scorpio? You know, I am karma. Like, <laughs> you're going to learn today. Like, that type of energy. So, it's just like you just remove your love all, all together. Some of you guys could be leaving a person and going to someone else. Redrawing your energy from someone that wasn't true to you, that, that really didn't love you, that was doing all of the right things but wasn't for sure. So on the backup page, um, there's a reading for my Monday's chat with SG. And it talks about knowing how to identify the right partner, right? So, like, cause people people are good at it. They gonna come with that. They gonna come with their ashe. They gonna do whatever they need to do. But when you find out, like, this person was married, and this person was after your money, you know, they kept you around because of, of the potential of them getting something. 
I feel like, you know, you're going to think about this person. You're going to miss this person, right? Because you and this person had a relationship. It was a divine connection. So the connection was strong. But I do see you moving forward emotionally. And when you move forward from this, boom, there's an empress right there waiting on you. Or this situation is going to evolve you. You're going to ascend from this situation from removing your energy and you're going to be the empress. Take it how it resonates. Like you're going to more than likely go on a spiritual journey and focus on yourself, focus on the things that align with you, that serve your higher purpose. I feel like you're redrawing your energy from people for a while and just saying, let me focus on me. Balancing out your energy, like reserving your energy. I feel like you're going to change the way you do things as well. If this is you or if this is them, whoever have the money, like you're changing up how you do things. So you're like more reserved. You're like, it, it's something that taught you a valuable lesson. Feeling like, you know what? I'm not going to be so forthcoming. I'm not going to be giving money away. I don't want people to just deal with me or focus, focus on me because of my finances. So I'm going to chill. Like, oh, you're not going to eat off of me. <laughs> you're not going to get my money. So that could be like, because I don't see any blocking of communication. So like you're removing yourself. You you know, you're you're like, you know what, let me let me get on up out of here. Or they are to you, right? Keep, keep Reverse the roles as need be. And so you're being reserved or this person is being stingy as hell all of a sudden. Like, nah, I ain't got it. So if, if this is you, Scorpio, like whoever this is, Scorpio or cross watcher, if you used to be able to get money from somebody and now you can't get nothing, I'm telling you why. They didn't found out something about you. <laughs> they didn't found out your little secret, honey. Like <laughs> the cat is out the bag, baby. <laughs> the cat out the bag. Yeah. Yeah, so someone is choosing not to no longer focus on this. They feel like you're dishonest and, and you weren't a wise choice. Or you to them, you feel as though that that you, you're not you're choosing to no longer deal with this person because they were dishonest and it, it wasn't a wise choice. You <laughs> Come on now, Scorpio. You could be trying to manifest for them to get their heart broke. Like, oh, I hope they person find out. But you, your energy here, the deaf energy. Like, yeah, like, don't be that way. Just realize that it was a lesson in this. When things happen, it's a lesson or a win. So if you had to go through this, it was a lesson for you. So don't be bitter or angry. Maybe when it first happened, you're going to be like, oh, I hope they find out or manifesting them to find out something about this. But that's not your air. That's not your area. Allow your allow your um, your egg bay to handle this. Yeah, allow your spirit team to handle this. You don't have to go back and forth or wish ill on nobody. Continue to wish them love and light. Because whatever you spent or whatever you did, you're going to get it back. So, you know, just know that. I know you hella emotional right now, but it was a lesson in this for you. And, and hopefully if you learned the lesson, you can move forward. If you would like a personal reading, click the description box below. Go to my website. You can book a personal reading. All of the rates have been reduced. I reduced the rates about a month ago. So I've just been letting people that go to my website on, on a regular basis, they've been able to see them and book under the uh, reduced rates. But the rates are reduced because I'm, I'm doing the work of Spirit of Source. And um, I, want, I want to be obtainable to everyone. I don't want people to have to save up to, to get a reading right now um, with, with everything being so tight. So these numbers will be here for a while. Um, guys need a reading let's 
So you have the sun. Open your heart to the en enormous uh, growth ahead. Yeah, like it's a lesson. All right. Um. Again, so you could be dealing with a another water sign, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You have lion, lion. Harness the law and protective aura of the lion and charge your head magnificently. So it's all good. You have the star here, Aquarius energy. So lion is Leo's energy. You have Aquarius energy here. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So yeah, move forward. And then you have marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. All right. So I feel like, you know, this could be you that's thinking about marriage as well. Like once you have been through something so harsh in this manner, you're attracting in love. False person has been here being revealed. So it's like, you know, we're in the month of the great reset. All right. So, so things are being revealed. Anything that's not supposed to be is being revealed to you. Like it's coming to the light. So be mindful of that. Don't take it to heart. You know, this is spirit's way of saying, you know, my child, you are protected. I got you. Ain't nobody finna play with my child. Ain't nobody gonna play with you. Because that false uh, person has come out a lot. <laughs> so, you know, the false, the, the false narrative, the false people, they're about to be exposed. So just be mindful of that. All right. I'll